with the 12th pick in the 2014 NFL Draft, the New York Giants select Odell Beckham. With the first pick in the 2014 NFL Draft, the Houston Texans select Jadavian Clowney. With the second pick in the 2014 NFL Draft, the St. Louis Rams select Greg Robinson. With the third pick in the 2014 NFL Draft, the Jacksonville Jaguars select Blake Bortles. With the fourth pick in the 2014 NFL Draft, the Buffalo Bills select Sammy Watkins. With the fifth pick in the 2014 NFL Draft, the Oakland Raiders select Khalil Mack. With the sixth pick in the 2014 NFL Draft, the Atlanta Falcons select Jake Matthews. 2014 NFL Draft, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers select Mike Evans with the eighth pick in the 2014 NFL Draft. The Cleveland Browns select Justin Gilbert with the ninth pick in the 2014 NFL Draft. The Minnesota Vikings select Anthony Barr. That with the tenth pick in the 2014 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select Eric Ebron. The eleventh pick in the 2014 NFL Draft. The Tennessee Titans select Taylor Lewan with the 12th pick in the 2014 NFL Draft.
the New York Giants select Odell Beckham, wide receiver, LSU. And there is Odell Beckham Jr. Tears in his eyes coming out. There's uh, some more envy from John. All I care about is money. I see that I'm from. He's one of the best in the world. I'm a sick man. He's done. I'm not even getting fucking my excuses that I'm on. And I'm only getting older. Somebody should have told you I'm on one. Yeah, I'm on one. Fuck it, I'm on one. Why am I said I'm on one. Uh -huh. Fuck it, I'm on one. Two white cups that I got that drink. Could be purple or could be pink. Depending on how you mix that shit. Money to be gotten, I'ma get that shit. Cause I'm on one. <laughs> I said fuck it, I'm on So big news for the Giants today is that man, Odell Beckham Jr., making his debut. He was a first-round draft pick and barely practiced the entire offseason because of hamstring issues, but he is in there for Eli Manning today. It's the NFL on Fox on a gorgeous Sunday afternoon in northern New Jersey as the 2-2 two two Giants play host to the 2-2 two two Falcons. He is back to receive the opening kickoff. Big news for the Giants today is that man Odell Beckham Jr. making his debut he was a first round draft pick and barely practiced the entire offseason because of hamstring issues but he is in there for Eli Manning today and I love coach Coughlin's line I asked him coach he's gonna have him on a pitch count and he said well for the medical people we have to have a pitch count but sometimes I'm not very good at counting I might forget that pitch count <laughs> I have a feeling John if he comes out and makes a play he won't be <laughs> won't be coming out of this game I Fake to Williams. Manning coming near side. It's Beckham Jr. He's got it. Blitz coming. Manning goes with that. You can see why they're so high on Odell Beckham Jr. Freeman. And Devontae Freeman's going to pad his stats, but that'll end the game. And the Giants have won their third straight 30 to 20 over the Falcons here at MetLife Stadium. Big second half for the Giants. They get the win. Atlanta drops to 2 and 3. We're coming back. Fourth down and goal from the three. Eli throwing and it is batted away at the end. Victor Cruz could not hang on. Brandon Boykins there. Cruz is still down. They bring the card out. They're going to try to get him to his feet. Twisted the right knee. The ball was there. Boykin never got a hand on it, but Cruz. With Coughlin right there, Cruz, the knee starting to buckle. He'll get a ride back to the locker room. Well, I can't remember the last time I've covered an injury where I heard so much screaming in pain and agony, Al. Not just when Cruz was on the ground and the medical staff was attending to him, but in particular when they picked him up to put him on that cart. It was though as though the pain were just coming back and resurging. He is sobbing, as you can see. He's been sobbing basically since he went down, knowing this is probably, probably quite serious, Al.
it again. Beckham Jr. only four catches on the day, but two were for six. Playing the slot for Julio Jones. He, no, no. Then you're the, no. When we say athlete, we all know what we mean by athletic competition. Odell is the best athlete on the planet Earth. as many different ways to get him the football as you possibly Eli step might be play action in the roll and Manning throws and the catch by Beckham I'm telling you this guy will make some of the most amazing catches you've ever seen Brady coming back out catch in pro football.
since he made that catch, which everybody saw on national television a couple of weeks ago, people are showing up early to watch what he's going to do in the warm-ups. You know, this reminds you of, of the baseball back in the day when everybody come for the BP practice. You see all the people in the camp. Second down. Manning guns it over the middle to Beckham. First and goal, Giants down to the eight-yard line. To the west on this first half formation. And they're throwing the football and they're looking for Beckham now. nervous but uh first and foremost I, I gotta thank God for getting me here and um allow me to even get on the field uh early in the year I didn't even know if I was gonna have a chance to play um on top of that thank the Giants organization uh my teammates uh big brother Vic who, who looked out for me all year um mom and dad who are here um this one's for y'all you know this one's for y'all uh Brothers Jeremy Hill, Jarvis Landry here, um, the Royal Familia, you know, without them, I, I don't know where I'd be, and I'm um, very happy to take this one home. Thing today, hey, Dell Beckham's going to show up. He does every week. Four-man rush. Manning steps up, going deep. What a grab! Three-man rush this time. Manning. Picked up, Manning far side, Beckham's got it! 
breaks the tackle. Odell Beckham is tearing. to be kidding me. God, this kid is amazing. And when that young man gets his hands on the football, it is exciting. And deep downfield, Beckham got free. Beckham beat the coverage, and Beckham gets tackled finally at the 13-yard line. Four-man rush, man. Skittering his way inside the 30, and then Bowman catches him from behind. Jaquaski to LSU, but never on a stage like Sunday night. As Manning steps up, fires a little bit low. Low game. Play action. Beckham, free over the middle, tries to spin around. Manning stepping up to Beckham, and Beckham will run around the defense for a touchdown. Reception, Beckham becomes the fastest player in history to reach 150 career receptions in his 21st game. The previous record holder, Equan Bolden.
resulted in his highest completion percentage of his career. And down he goes. It's Beckham getting loose, and he's going to take it the distance. 87 yards. Both tremendously successful coach, head coaches. Third and eight. Well defended that time by now 20 to 17. It's third and seven. And it's incomplete. Beckham with Butler with the tight cover. 51 in the first half, 38 yards in the second half. Going for a long one and incomplete. He's made his judgment. The pass is incomplete. The ball is Giants 
take over. First and 10 of the 29. Changes on the offensive line. Manning throws. Beckham takes a big hit. thinking about what could have been and here's what was going on after that run to the last play these two wow these two are still going at it well the last two times we see their second down let's watch this has been going on all game i mean at some point this is ridiculous yeah you know i think the coaches they've talked to terry mccauley josh norman has been talking to the officials as well and Watch the end of this play. That's not it. It's here. And they go head to head. Then Norman gets in with a knee into the head of Odell Beckham. Well, it's a, it, this is embarrassing. It's embarrassing for Odell Beckham. It's embarrassing for the Giants. There's a shot. I mean, Josh Norman has owned him in this game. And when he hasn't been on him, someone else has. They haven't gotten him the football. Beckham is so off his game, he's not even running routes. He's coming off the ball trying to take Norman's head off. Yeah, he's just clapping because he thinks they're finally going to call Josh Norman for something, but this looked like it was within, yeah. of course they go hands to the face, is probably where they're going to get him, but it was within the five yards. I'm, I'm throwing this one on Norman. Yeah, that's the flag came in. I mean, they're watching it, but... Personal foul on this area of Defense number 24. Talking about Odell Beckham Jr. Mm -hmm. like he's the best receiver in the league. People on his team keep, oh yeah, he's the best player in the league. He's saying he wants to be the highest paid player in the league. The guy is not Julio Jones. He's not Antonio Brown. Therefore, if you're not even the best at your position, and people keep running their mouth, he's the best player in the league. He ain't the best at his position. He's over. Rated. Friday evening, Josh Norman signing with the Washington Redskins. It's a five-year deal worth $70 million. And according to Ian Rappaport, it includes $50 million oh my. worth of guaranteed money. Round two, fight.
42. the Bruins. He stays in the block and it's another completion to Odell Beckham. Knocked out of bounds by Xavier Rhodes at the 35-yard line. After the play was over, a sportsmanlike conduct, number 13, offense, laundry. This is the first of sportsmanlike conduct of this type for number 13. I think Beckham thought that he was hit out of bounds by Xavier Rhodes all week after his behavior of last week. And McAdoo said he needs to be less of a distraction. A bullet thrown by Manning. Beckham almost welcoming the contact with Rhodes again. They pull Rhodes away on the Minnesota sideline, but Beckham needs to be careful, John. One more of those and he's gone. kidding me you almost you should have been thrown out on the Odell Beckham rule I mean I get it you're frustrated because you're getting roughed up the refs miss a call when you go out of bounds but then your temper tantrum costs the team 15 yards and on the very next play you seek contact out of bounds when you know they warn you because of essentially the Odell Beckham rule, the next one and you're gone, you seek contact on the next play? You're playing the Vikings, didn't play them last year because you missed that game because of what, down, what, what, what went down with Josh Norman. So they come up with this rule and they're, you're going to be the guy they had apply it to after they apply it to your teammate the week before a loss? You have got to be kidding.
the jam. Beckham goes up and gets it. He has to be the most exciting player in the National Football League. He's on the offensive line. Manning. Spinning away from the rush. And Odell Beckham for the Lions. The Bengals have brought him back. That was a popular move in their locker room. Uh, wounded duck, but it's on target. Uh, Beckham for a first by Beckham goes up and gets it. Manning man open, caught by Beckham. Just the one timeout left for the Bengals.
would you still make OBJ the highest paid wide receiver in the NFL? Absolutely not. I wouldn't. Um, I'm disgusted with him right now. I'll be honest with you. We don't know whether it was a blunt or a joint in his hands. We don't know that it was cocaine that the lady was using, even though one surmises based on the video that, that wasn't what, that's what it was. For me, this is a man that has been front and center on his own accord, speaking about not only how he wanted to be the highest paid player, the highest paid wide receiver, but he wanted to be the highest paid player in football. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure everybody understands that I believe that as a talent, as a talent, Odell Beckham Jr. warrants consideration for those dollars. But I am getting sick and tired of these folks, these athletes out here, not recognizing what your responsibilities are. See, it's, it's moments like this where we look at a LeBron James and we have to appreciate who he is and what he represents. A man that has been in the limelight since age 17 and has never been in a speck of trouble. When you take into account the fact that he plays the sport of basketball, where your contracts are fully guaranteed, and you have absolutely nothing to worry about, and a man has made close to a billion dollars in his career and still knows how to act, then you turn around and you look at a guy like Odell Beckham Jr., who I personally like, show see him at a lot of basketball games, but this is just stupid. It's stupid to even find yourself in this situation. Now, you can't stay up all night and you don't know who's videoing you and all. I get all of that. But it's drugs involved, purportedly. And you're associated with that at a time you are looking to get paid. And this is why I say the word stupid is appropriate. It would be irresponsible, but if you already got your money, it would just be irresponsible. It wouldn't be stupid. Stupid is when you do it before you got the money while you're trying to get the money, knowing that they're using every excuse under the sun to deny you your money, and you still go out and do it. This is a man that regardless of what he wants, remember, Max, Riddick, Lewis, these guys, you negotiate your deal. They don't have to sign them to no contract extension. Plus, they get to franchise tag them if they want to, not just after this season coming up, but after the following season, which means that if the New York Giants want to play hardball, which is get them in the new GM's reputation, by the way, you literally can lock this brother down for three more years before you let him get his money. He knows this, and you put yourself in this position anyway? Inexcusable. Hey, real talk, bring it in. Bring it in.
142 rushing yards. Manning, oh, through the hands of Beckham. It's a slant route thrown a little bit high by Eli Manning. Manning throws the slant left through the hands of Beckham and complete. Beckham is down and hurt, grabbing his left ankle. Oh my God. Welcome to NFL Total Access. Lindsay Rhodes helping you count down to kickoff just 10 days away now and a much easier number to count to than this next one. 95 million. That is how much Odell Beckham Jr. secured for himself today. And to say the Giants locker room was fired up about it, well, as you can see, that would be an understatement. And we'll have more on that in just a bit. Kim Jones live from East Rutherford. I want to start with Ian Rappaport, though. He's got the nuts and bolts of the deal. What are we talking here, Ian? We are talking a lot of money, a real lot of money for Odell Beckham Jr. resetting the wide receiver market, now the highest paid receiver in the NFL. Here are the numbers, and they're big. Five years, $95 million, that is the max, $90 million at its base. So on a per year basis, Odell Beckham Jr. makes $18 million per year, eclipsing Antonio Brown as the highest paid receiver in the NFL. I think the Giants have made a mistake. I think that Odell Beckham Jr. has been on his best behavior this offseason to get the money. Congratulations to Odell. You got money. They showed you the money. They paid you the money. Now they're going to regret it. <laughs> now we go. Odell's going to go back to being Odell, and all that money just is going to expose what Odell really is. He, he, he's not he, – I don't think he loves the game. I think he loves the attention. I think he loves being a celebrity. Now he's got the money to be that kind of celebrity. And that's where they're going to get. They got a celebrity wide receiver. He's not Julio Jones. He's not Antonio Brown. They will not get their money's worth out of this deal. With us a season ago, good luck to Christina on Thursday nights. Catch made by Odell Beckham Jr. He spins away from Barry Church. And then is knocked out of bounds. Touchdown, O.B.J. 
It is done. Odell Beckham oh. traded from the New York Giants to the Cleveland Browns. <laughs>